Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. Yeah, we have an unboxing today. Of course we do. We have a brand new watch to show you and a bit of a deja vu moment as we reveal an analog watch. Now, I know we have been hitting it hardcore with amazing uh, smartwatches that are Android-based, dual processors, bracelet mode, you name it, it, it does it. But there's a whole market for folks who want a really attractive-looking regular watch. However, they want to do a few things that are smart. And this one, called the Time Owner, will do that. Let's talk about it comes to us directly from the company itself, Time Owner Official Store on AliExpress. It's really inexpensive. Look at this. 25 bucks can get you into this thing. It's got five atmosphere um, waterproofing. That definitely means you can swim and dive and do all kinds of things with it. It uh, also has a built-in SOS function, which is really nifty. It'll collect your step count um, information, your calories burned, distance travel. You can even use it as a remote uh, trigger for your phone to take a picture when you're tethered to the app um, associated with it. Really nice thing. Let's talk about it. Let's look at it. And then let's guide you through how you make this thing actually happen. The box has got some inserts. We took this out. It was already put together. And we've got a little operations guide in here. When we page through this, it shows you the index and the basic layout with the buttons. And there's a trick to how you push all these buttons to make it work. There's your basic specs there. I don't have a full on spec sheet for you because there's not a whole lot to it. It really is a simple watch, but it's a very effective one. Here's a warranty information. It's a quartz watch inside of here. So you're not like getting your time off of the internet or anything. Uh, but you are having um, good quartz quality uh, timing with it. The power on and off buttons, how you set the Bluetooth on or off once you first initially set it up and get it tethered to the appropriate app called the UWatch app. And uh, you can scan the QR code appropriate for you. Um, we're on Android, so that's what I've done there. And it also is in the Google Play Store, which I'm gonna show you in just one moment when we finish the manual. The app homepage looks like that, and there really is only one page with a slide out panel on the side, that's all you need. And then this is how you basically bind or tether the watch. It's all here in the instruction guide. Sports data and share is discussed. And of course, you can set on uh, the app itself here uh, as necessary for your um, tethering stuff. There's the SOS function. Let's talk a little bit about that. This is a new feature. It's going to be uh, really powerful if you have a senior in your life, let's say, and um, you want to make sure that if they need to reach you, they can simply by pressing a button on a watch not technical, not even trying to grab a smartphone and figure out how to dial the emergency number. You ever tried to do that? Yeah, it's not that easy. You got to get into the phone. You got to get into the dialer. Oh, man. Anyway, you set up up to three different numbers on this with the SOS function and uh, you're good to go. It will call automatically. Of course, you still need to be tethered to the phone. So you got to have the watch and the phone close enough together to activate that. And then the phone's going to take over doing the calling. Call the three numbers, send your GPS location based on what it found in the phone where you're located and get everything underway for uh, any kind of an emergency need. That alone could be a, uh, an important feature of a watch like this if you're in a situation where you think that might be uh, important to you. Even um, just walking down a dark alley, if you've got your phone with you in your watch, you could quickly press a button and take care of a situation. All right, that's the manual and a little warranty card that goes with it. And uh, let's talk about it in detail. We're going to bring over from the Google Play Store now the, uh, the app is called UWatch Smart BLE. There's a few UWatch ones. You want the one with that icon. You download that. It looks like it's all in Chinese, and it basically is. However, if your language is set on English, at least I know for sure English will work, and you open it, you're going to get into your home screen, 
um, and, and it'll all be in English. Now, I am tethered to this. I've just set it all up. I've walked a few steps, 118. Let me give you some guidance on this before we get much further. It's tracking your step count and it's tracking it live. Now, it says that I need to take at least a dozen steps or so before you're going to start to see the numbers change. And that's so that it's not going to, you know, make mistakes and start tracking every movement of your arm. But if it's sensing that you're actually walking, it's a live connect thing and you'll actually see your step count change. And of course, your calories and distance will all be updated based on that, along with your circle percentage against your target that you set. And how do you set the target? Same way you set everything else. You got to get into the menu over here. When you do, this is how you change or set up the module to begin with. You can hit a find the module and this thing does. You remember those old Casio watches that all they do is go beep, beep. Well, this is the same kind. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Nah, probably not on the speaker here because I'm so loud in my boisterous voice. Uh, but it's it's sending out a little uh, beep, beep, beep notice uh, to the watch so that you can verify that you're connected. When I get into camera mode here and I bring over something to focus on, like the watch itself, I'm in the camera mode. All I got to do is shake this. Hello. And it says it just take a picture of it. Phot phot photograph captured, right? Photographing is finished. So I'm taking pictures every time I shake it. <laughs> yes, it's catching up with me. And that's um, simple as going into the app and activating camera right there. You can clear the data. You got your personal settings. Here's where you have gender and height, weight, stride, stride even, which is really unique. You don't see that often. That's so that your distance calculations will be more accurate if you've got your actual stride for all your steps. You can change metric to English and you can do a sleep thing so you can start and end uh, sleep times and you can do a direct synchronization right there if you've been offline for a while. Uh, and you can go offline for up to a week and capture data on here. You've got your targets. This is where you can set uh, what your daily target is. I generally set 8,000 and then I'm really happy when I exceed it and get 10 even though 10 is really what I should be getting, but then I can feel much better because I hit my target. Anyway, you got that. You got reminders. This is all the different things that you can turn on to get a notice, a reminder on your watch that uh, it came through. And then here's that fancy SOS setting area where you go through, put in a phone number and create the process for doing the, uh, the settings. Okay. Now that I got your attention and you might want one of these things, let me go over something with you. And that's some of the FAQs, because that's really where this whole thing tends to break down. You've got to be able to understand how to run through this uh, properly. First of all, the prerequisites of what you need. And uh, again, it's going to update the um, pedometer after uh, 12 steps in a row. It's not broken. It's just making sure you're walking. So how do you turn it on and off? You got to press buttons A and B right here for three seconds simultaneously. That's the first place a lot of people say, it's a broken watch, I can't get it on. Yes, you can, three seconds, hold it. You'll hear a beep and then it's on. Once you're there, then you can turn Bluetooth on and off with this upper button. You can SOS and do all that stuff with the lower button. I'm not gonna read it all to you because you could freeze frame this and read it on your own, but I'm gonna encourage you to um, take a look at it and make sure it's something that you could master or your grandparents could master or whatever. And um, yeah, and that, that's what you would do. So all in all, what I'm finding with this one is it's functional. It does what it says it's supposed to do. It's not elaborate. I'm not giving you heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, heart reports, fatigue index, whether you're a female on your cycle or not. None of that. But you don't need all of that if you really want an attractive dressy watch that's still going to give you your basic step count information, also be available for an emergency SOS function, and you can get it as wet as you like because this thing can go swimming. Check it out. It's uh, coming to us from an interesting company, Time Owner, and uh, yeah, it's available right now. 
25 bucks or so. We'll see if we can get a coupon discount for you. You'll be able to pick this one up and add it to your repertoire. It may not be your only smartwatch, but it might turn out being a really nice one you'll wear from time to time. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.